So in this video here, I'm going to show you how to program the MyQ system on a Chamberlain LiftMaster or Craftsman garage door opener. Uh, I'm going to show you with one that has built-in Wi-Fi and one that does not have built-in Wi-Fi. So first thing I'm going to go over is how to erase Wi-Fi from these openers. Um, so starting with the one that does not have Wi-Fi, you're going to have to sign in to your MyQ account. And I've got a lot on here, so i got to find it. Here it is. What you're going to do is you're going to tap the little gear. Go to device control. I guess not. Hold up. This used to be. Oh, it's at the bottom. <laughs> Alright, that's my bad. You're just going to hit. Come on. Remove device. And then just hit yes, delete. And that opener is now gone. Now, if you have an opener that has built in Wi Fi, you're gonna find the side of the opener that has the antenna and this little black rectangle button. Uh, you can see is green. Uh, that green means it's connected to Wi Fi. If you need to erase the Wi Fi, you push and hold that button until the opener beeps three times. And now the Wi Fi settings are erased. So now we're going to go over how to program Wi-Fi, starting with the opener that does have built-in Wi-Fi. Um, which again, I don't believe I can... You cannot remove this. Yeah, so this opener, you need to, to remove this opener from your MyQ account. You need to go... Well, let's see. Let go back and show you. You're going to tap your initials here in the corner. You're going to go to device management, you're going to tap your hub, I have a bunch, but you're going to tap your opener, and then you hit the little delete button in the corner, and then delete. You go back, and back again. Now the first thing you're going to do to add a Wi-Fi opener is you're going to tap the plus, and then you're going to hit that you want to add a device. Then you're going to pick garage door opener, um, choose the one that applies to you, mine is just a regular ceiling installed opener, and check all the boxes, I need to turn on Bluetooth, and I need to turn on location services, and then you can hit I'm ready. Now at this point it's pretty straightforward, the app's going to walk you through how to do it, um, but I'll show you guys anyway. So, now it says to pick the wall button that looks like yours. Well, this one here is my wall button. So, you tap that, and it tells you to push the little button on the side for six seconds until you hear the opener beep. There you go. And you hit next, and if it beeped, you hit next. Now it's searching for your device, which is this right here. You're going to tap that to add it, and then it's going to connect to your device. You're just going to flash the status. Um, that little blue LED right there is the Wi-Fi status, um, which really, if it's green, you'll know it's connected to Wi-Fi. Um, and there should be a chart in the manual that says what all the lights mean. I don't remember what all the different colors mean. But next, what you're going to do, which I'm not going to show mine for privacy reasons, but you're going to pick your Wi-Fi network, and then it's going to prompt you to type in the password if you have one. So let me do that real quick. And then tap next. And now it's going to beep a few times as it tries to connect to the network. Once you hear three long beeps, that means you're all done. And then you just wait for the app. Some. Come on. Any day now. You can do it. And I'll put you on pause when it waits. Alright, so now that's finally done with that, what you're going to do next is it's going to tell you to name it. 
I'm just going to name mine the model number of the opener. And then you tap next. And it's going to save it. It's going to tell you to set up Amazon key, which I don't want to do right now. And now, uh, somewhere, there it is. Now you can see it is showing up on our app. And I'm just going to real quick turn off my notifications because I don't need them. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up an opener that does not have built-in Wi-Fi. So this will be for older MyQ openers. Now when you go to tap to add a device, there is no option for a non Wi-Fi opener. So what you're actually going to do instead is you're going to tap your initials there and you're going to go again to device management and you're going to find your hub. Chances are you're just going to have one hub. I have several obviously, um, but a hub can either be an opener with built-in Wi-Fi or one of these internet gateways or if you have one of these hubs, those all count as, or like one of these MyQ garage things, those all count as hubs. Um, and by the way, the process for this works the same, is the same thing with the 889LM control panel. But anyway, so you're going to select your hub, and then you're going to tap add new. And you're going to pick what you have, in this case MyQ garage door opener. You're going to find the learn button. In my case, my learn button is right here on my wall button. So then you tap next when you found it, and in this case you're going to press the learn button twice. Both lights are going to flash eventually, and that means it's learned. And again, you're going to name it, and again I'm just going to name mine, oops, the model number of the opener. And then you hit finish. And now you can go back, and there is that one. And I'm going to turn off notifications again. So it's really pretty straightforward. Uh, the app takes you through most of it. Uh, really, the big thing is if you're adding a non Wi Fi opener, you need to go into device management. So you tap your little initials in the corner, and then it's right there. So, but it is pretty straightforward. So, uh, if anybody has any questions, please let me know, and I will answer them as best as I can. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped out a little, and we'll see you guys later.